In applied geology, we study rocks, uh, rocks that are underneath our feet, but also rocks that are at the surface. Those are typically the same rocks. Uh, if you want to produce energy from the subsurface, uh, resources that can be heat, hydrocarbons, it can be water, you need to understand the rocks. Uh, and because the rocks underneath our feet are very difficult to access, we study rocks typically at the surface <coughs> in rock outgrowths. Now the video that you are about to see uh, are typical beach, fluvial, river, coastal plain types of rocks. Uh, but they are from the Devonian. And the Devonian is 350 million years ago uh, when the Earth's surface looked very similar but the vegetation and the biology was very different. Now we can use that, those rocks to better understand and better predict the rock properties. In the video you will see typical thin bedded sands. Uh, those sands are events. They can be hurricanes, they can be big river floods when a lot of sediment was deposited in a very short time. At the same time you can see thin clay drapes when things were very quiet. You can see beach deposits, you can see <coughs> river deposits, all kinds of stuff that we nowadays see at the surface. Now of course understanding the lateral continuity of those rocks is very important but we also need to look at the details. So we take samples to the lab, we make very thin slices of them uh, such that light can penetrate them and we use micros microscopes to actually study the minerals that are in there. What kind of grains are there? Is it quartz, feldspar, all kinds of details that tell us how variable that rock can be. We can also look at porosity, how many fluids can be in the rock, water, uh, for example. Uh, all that helps us a lot to predict the subsurface. And the subsurface uh, is very uncertain to us. It's very deep, we cannot access it, but we need to understand it better in order to safely and effectively produce anything, any resource that we might be interested in in the subsurface.